Can you give us a sense? I mean, what kind of test are we talking about? How long does it take? What, what are we talking about here? So we've committed to uh, next sometime next week to doing uh, 5,000 tests a day for New York State. Uh, we are doing their testing through their drive throughs through New Rochelle starting today and through the weekend. The, uh, the way it works is the patient uh, called New York State uh, hotline. They get approved to have the test done. They drive to, they go to the drive through they get the test uh, swabbed. In other words, the patient rolls down the window, they get their fairing swab, uh, they bag it, and then they send the test to our laboratory, and then we run the test and get the result back to the Department of Health in New York State within 24 to 48 hours. No cost to the driver? No, there's no cost. New York State is picking up the cost. And how long before we get those results? It'll be about 24 to 48 hours, which is the standard for running this kind of complex uh, viral testing. Dr. Cohen, the availability of tests is one of the major questions uh, in the, for the country right now. Can you give us an overall sense of how we stand on that measure and where the tests are and how quickly and by what standards people should expect to be able to be tested for coronavirus? Sure. So we're uh, we're one of the natural laboratories. We serve all 50 states, so we have the logistics to pick up uh, pretty much uh, everywhere in the country. Uh, what we're doing is uh, we're standing up. We stood up what's called the CDC platform originally, uh, which is mostly a manual testing. But then we're within the next uh, week or sooner, we're moving to automated platforms, several different platforms to run the coronavirus, uh, which will get us up to several thousand and up to 5,000 and upwards of 10,000 tests a day. Um, that's what we're doing, and I presume some of the other labs are also. We, we hear about the tests that Cleveland Clinic has, has put together. We hear about other tests that have been developed uh, with various times uh, to get responses. Are all these tests the same? They're all, uh, they're, they're, in essence, they're the same as that they, they diagnose to a very high quality standard whether or not the patient has coronavirus or not. There are different recipes and different platforms that get to that same endpoint. So they're not all exactly the same in terms of how they get to the endpoint, uh, but the endpoint in all of these tests is the same. And Dr. Cohen, I, you know, there's been a lot of talk, including uh, here on CNBC, about how the U.S. can get an outcome more like South Korea's, where they've really bent the curve on new cases, as opposed to Italy's, where they've, it's been much harder to bring under control. When you say you can have up to five to ten thousand tests a day within, I think you said a couple of weeks. Do you no, think within, we can within the next within the next week? Within the next week, even better. So, do you think we can expect possibly more of a South Korea-like outcome here? Well, I think eventually, the, particularly, again, the national labs like us are the ones that have the sophistication and automation to deliver high-throughput testing and actually deliver the result back to the appropriate entity. Uh, the, the major part of this is, is, is the testing, but you also have to take into consideration the enormous amount of logistics and IT infrastructure it takes for a company like us to actually pick up the specimen, bring it to the lab, and then result it back within a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Most of the small, most of the universities, health systems, and most of the state-funded um, laboratories don't have that ability. It's laboratories, commercial laboratories like us that have that ability to perform that function. I'm curious, before we let you go, how much does a test like this cost? Per test? Uh, we're still working through that issue. The, the, the Medicare uh, rate is going to be, the Medicare reimbursement rate is going to be approximately $50, uh, but we don't have, we don't have complete sign-off yet from Medicare or the commercial payers about what they're going to reimburse any of the laboratories for this test as of yet. Dr. John Cohen, uh, thank you. Appreciate all that you're doing to try and get a handle on all of this.